Nos with that, a din weir heno in the Anglin Ebo, Yahobe, in the Indiscol, tipping or ornest heno, Achos, a thy deem sing gosso de savon and a gungrer lenny, simen ben ben I gilliv, Glyn Ebo, a shannon the vri. Now a trodwether thy deem a gorf, while I feel our ear vinid ola in, a kin in crossy poppeth, bonimini gallery in Kafra, Henoma. Boy and Crisawi a Portman or Lanham the Brit. We had an urban tradit. I mean, Ben Ben Aikil, Lloyd Bastiol, Master Tivas, Marcabal and Dragan, a Guru, where Naved and Immanuel Kites can tap. E. Ryan Davis. Lan Manuan Min, Lan Oheed, Kites Cos, Scythe Point, Ilene Boy. A Bas Nolti Bound, Managais, Dodi Laur, Johan Dodi Laur, Kaisi Lanham the Brit. Man on all in a game. Ride eel in a boy for Novalis. Kais Kospar Aspen Hill. Ninja Vartal. Maynard and Tudianis. Mar Portman Arablan. Massima Cornell. My young man. Oh, I'm that governor. Piri Golia. Iram Wellwir. Tipping a game in white and Ragor and view an Indigo friend. Modana T. Molea. Oh, my other board and dipping ornest and do we stim shower the Hiaros Tanaki Kenta, Glen Eboy and Erbin Shannon the Vri in game Vuni Heno and Ilk Gungrer Indigo. Yeah, Croiso Kenes Atoni and with the Unda, mine Sigma are Hino Breed, Ni Croisi Popet, but in Aros Felin, V are thy Urban Hevig, Urthana Milli, a thy the Invasa Smarta and Rugby Camrichos and Edward Douglas Hichtoy, Steph Hughes, Captain Adrigier, Kinchore and Ladol, Nathan Brayworth Gurs. Nathan, you have a friend, you have a thy deem, see that a brig, I mean, an Erbini Gillet, Mahon and Timlo, or Ganani at Valgame, Itha Puiseg, a barod and doing it tomorrow. Oh, I'm sick about it. I'm at my thy team and Vasa, not with the Adol. Augusted Leol, I'm a Ruthig Minid, Vessiman Hospoy Sigbud, um, to one a team seething Gassic Allegor Haviath and Sekinta, I can Gassic Parhai Agor Haviath and a mini and this game. Very Bongwell Hichtoi, Drew Nose, a great hello, Bow Mind Sick, Vishkar, Yauni Dod of there, or the Arakai, and now the Arakai, Steph, Mangashi Bonsian, no the Aun. Adimave, our Pope Claudi Gilneboy, Manu Nade and Hiano, the Aunidori Huare, 
Cyn i'n trwy cynta fi wedi bod ma, uh, am sbela mae'n sych, felly um, ond maen nhw'n dîm sydd wedi gwella ar y gweddau o'ch chwarae, yn draddodiadol yn pac mawr dyn nhw'n gystadleol, ond on ti ôl y sgrym hefyd mae'r datblygiad gyda'r olwyr wedi bod uh, yn ardderchog, felly mae mynd i fod yn gêm anhygoel heno. Wa beth am ni edrych ar y tabl te a chael cadarnhad o lun i arni ar hyn o bryd ac um, wel, fel ni'n gallu gweld fyna llan am ddyfri chwarae pedair ennill pedair tri phwynt bonws hefyd glinebwyd i colli un gêm ond bydd y goliaeth heno a nhw fydd yn codi i frig y tabl mae gymaint i chwarae drosto fe heno. Felly, mae'r dorf yn edrych mlaen yn dynnu. Mae wastad torf dda fy'n hyn i wylio'r dynion dir. Felly, os yw'r porth mynd eisiau rhywbeth, maen nhw'n mynd i orfod bod ar ei gorau heno yma. Glynau bwy, hebu feil oer glyb. Tywydd. Safon y coi a'r glaw a'r tywydd. I fi fel asgallu mae fe, ma fe wastad yn diwrnod hir. They've got a really strong pack along with some really sort of talented backs. Again, tough, but it should be a good challenge this year. Challenge and Varini. They've got a good forwards pack. Kick wow. Ti eisiau gadael ar ôl ti troi lan, really. Edrych am redwyr. Pedair fyny cicio. Oni hwn yn eist yn lan. Mae yn am gais. I caric fy ffdonna. Torf. Um... Y bygythiol ar rai hyddegau ddim yn lle rwyd i fynd i, I cael perfformiad a i cael byd y goliau. Very good crowd, got some, uh, got some good songs and uh, they're on our backs uh, quite consistently throughout the 80 minutes. The supporters really get behind the home team, so it's a good encounter. The Evo Addicts are a fantastic set of supporters, probably one of the best in the league. They're a top quality side and, and we look forward to playing against them each time. And Ben Danton, and Llea Anod i fynd i Eftmawr. Mae pawb yn gweud yr un peth am y lle yma, mae'n lle anodd iawn i ddod. Reita, mae Steff wedi mynd ar grwydr, mae e gyda ambell i chwaraewr o'r tîm catrau i'n meddwl. Ie, fi'n gael cwmni Rhys Francis, un captain Glynebwy heno. Uh, Rhys, a brilliant start to the season for you boys, three from four. Uh, confidence must be high in the squad. Yeah, it's been, it's been a decent start to the season in fairness. Um, we target, obviously, to get off to a good start. Um, so it's good to get points on the board early. Um, obviously, coming against Land every now, we know we've got to be at our best as well, so just looking forward to build on what we've done so far. Yeah, definitely, obviously, this great fixture last year, and every came out on top. What sort of areas have you focused on uh, for the game tonight? Um, obviously, start of the season, we pride ourselves on our set-piece, and we still got ball playing and quick back, so it's going to be a fast and open game, but we know set-piece, especially in this league, is going to be crucial. Brilliant, thanks very much, all the best for the game. Cheers, mate. You just want to get that in regards to Scotland, Evan Lloyd, in Massur, Glenda Glenay boy here. No, but I'm more than that. We'd have bought my lot to some of them. I will have been in Lee Bjorn and my Sikh, my Nosson Perfetti, he traveled a bail. So, did all the young world should be Evan at all where an edge of Hugh Yorkware, a kid boy said, wrong traveled a bail, our game kicko. I just a paratoi, uh, paratoi even in I'm a, a, a game kicker. Hi, Evan. How's it going? Good. How are you? Yeah, all okay. Good. Okay, thanks. I was just saying, lovely conditions for the game tonight. What sort of areas are you focused on as a team uh, to take the game to Canterbury? Uh, in big games like this, um, field position is so important. Although it's quite dry, it's quite deceiving, it's quite greasy underfoot. So um, I think it's just about playing in the right areas, and then um, when those opportunities come, just being clinical. Um, set piece can be massive, and then discipline. Whoever can uh, can see the least amount of penalties, they'll always give themselves a chance. Definitely, you spoke a bit about the territory. How important is that kicking game going to be for you and, and Johnny at nine tonight? Yeah, it'll be good. Um, we've obviously got Ethan as well in the back line and Morgan at full back to mix up. So we've got a good variety of kicking options. Um, I think looking at Flandre as well, one of the best parts about them is obviously their ability to hold the ball. Then they can be quite reluctant to kick at the same time. So it's just about who's. Uh, who's going to fold first and uh, just put each other in uh, bad areas. Brilliant, thanks very much, Pablo. Have a good game. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah, diolch, Steff. Um, Nathan, do ni'n sôn yn gynharach bod fy nyn yn gallu bod yn lle anodd iawn i chwarae oherwydd yr elfennau. Mae'n iawn heno. Os gen ti atgofion melys o fod yn chwarae yma? 
Mae'r gofyn da, fyddwn sy'n nhw'n rhy melys, mae'r rhy gweud. Ond na, na ma fyddwn sy'n rhan oedd hi dod, ma'n beth, ma'n ma, ma ddelfryd hollol wahanol am yma. Yn ymwneud i pobl yn uh, uh, y geia, ma'n um, ddelfryd am y sod o am yn tîm gorffwr, ond mae'r peth cyn dymd ma pwyslais enfawr gyda nhw o roi i ddyfannu'r dorf o'r ddechrau uh, gan roi mewn tacos. Mawr neu jyst uh, ennill tîr, felly. Uh, Mae fy'n alli anodd a, a so'n uh, gwelisio wal am y rhy gweud. Yeah, alli, ddechrau bygu, y dynion dîr am resom wrth gwrs. Um, beth efnos nôl pan fyddwn am ddyfri chwarae cyrdydd, ond nhw ddim yn glinigol iawn yn yr hanner cyntaf. Fyn hyn, maen nhw'n mynd i orfod bod yn glinigol, achos dyw'r cyfleoedd yn y falle ddim yn mynd i ddod mor aml yn enwedig gyda'r dorf, maen nhw'n heno. O, oh, sicr, maen nhw'n mynd i'n brwydr, uh, brwydr meddiant, uh, brwydr tir hefyd, felly, ie, yeah, so mae'n ma, ma holl pwysig bod yna ffwyll a mynydd yn cael ei dangos, a bod nhw'n cymryd y cyfleoedd. Pob pro maen nhw yn y redzwm, maen nhw'n gweud, mae'n rhaid iddyn nhw dod i ffwrdd gyda pwyntiau, uh, felly, ie, yeah, mae'n siŵr bod nhw'n rhywbeth bod nhw'n bod yn gweithio yna trwy gyda'r lwthnos. A mynydd yw amod llwyddo yn wir. Reitau, nôl ad ni at Steph, mae Adel, mae'n sy'n crwydro rwle. Ie, yeah, fi gael cwmni Eiros Evans, prif y ffordd o'r llan y ddyfri. Eiros, perfformiad gwych uh, trwy'r ethan yn erbyn Cydydd. Beth sy'n bwysig i chi uh, yn dwla yma heno? A, to, mae'n galu i dwla yn Rosi Ail yma. Uh, beth sy'n bwysig mynd i rheoli tu'r ogaeth a, a meddiant. A bod yn digon am mynedd gael gyda'r bêl. So, yeah, challenge fawr. Yn amlwch chi wedi dechrau mor dda ennill y gynghrair uh, blwyddyn dwetha. Fel chi'n cadw chreiwyr yn ffocws wrthnos i wrthnos uh, y tymor yma? Am y grŵp dda dyn ni, dwi'n lot o profiad, lot o boes ifanc, dwi'n troi o ddau fyd. Um, Mae nhw'n mwynu ennill gemau, so mae nhw'n rhoi ddi uh, ffordd i wedi. Gwe, diolch yn fawr â poblog am y gem. Diolch. Ie, diolch Steff, Eiros, yn edrych yn barod amdani, ond beth am y chwaraewyr. Wel, beth am i ni ymuno gyda Osian Davis i yn i chanol i yn cynnesu. Nos oedd ati, Osian, diolch yn ymuno gyda ni. Um, Mae'n siŵr bod chi wedi bod yn gwneud eich gwaith cartre chi dros y dyddiau dwetha. Beth eich chi ni ddisgwyl gan Lunebwy heno ma? Hello, Hello, Leon. Um, yeah, my only one game. I don't know. Think about the pack. No, it's a grave. My only one brilliant. At the moment, the hofta. So uh, my nature. Stop on momentum. No, play game. No, I don't know. Cyntaf yn erbyn ail Osian, mae'n adigon o dan yn mynd i fod yn eich boliech i gyd, mae'n siŵr gyn i yn dwi'n mas i ware heno. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, Dwi'n yn New Jean cross park. Uh, Stadium really nice, it's hard. Um, but the more game went, I know CI and um, now nah, brilliant. I can say uh, we found game that. Osha, ma, ma tu yw'r geth yn mynd i bod yn bwysig hyn. Ydw i'r cynllun falle i'r o'r pêl tu ôl glyn ebwy a gorfod i nhw i war allan? Ie, yeah, fi'n cael i ma tu yw'r geth yn mynd i bod yn bwysig heddi. Um, ni'n gwybod ma cicwr nhw'n gyda'r cicwr pêl yn rili beth, so with a bit of yours, a Jack Maynard and a job in the heavy, a Roy Neil Aura, seven the owner care. Oshan and the adults he got him long, the lunges now, a Gulia to him, my Pelly and head one of the three. Do you have a problem with Oshan? Thank you, Doc. Wel, mae gymaint o rygbi i ddod fyny na'r esbyd o'r eich dros y dyddiau nesa gêm enfawr i Gymru yng Nghwpan y Byd. Fe fyddwn ni'n edrych mlaen at y gêm na yn erbyn ar Iannin Fori am 8 y minwch gyda'r criw yn fyw o Ffrainc ar gyfer honna ac yna y gig gyntaf am bedwar, ond fe fyddwn ni'n dod â holl gyffro y gêm i chi am dri o'r gloch bnawn Sadwrn. Right, mae Steph wedi dod nôl ato ni, gest ti dy steps fe mwynau'n dod Steph, chwarae teg i ti. <laughs> right, beth am yn ni siarad am Osian te, achos mae e'n dipyn y chwaraewr chwarae teg dda fe, yn diwe, ac um, nid yn unig mae'n gallu rheoli i'r hengol na, ond hefyd mae'n un sy'n gallu sgorio ceisiau hefyd yn diwe. Ydy, mae fe, a mae'r cydbwysedd yn ei gêm yn ardderchwch, mae'n neud lot o gwaith dydd yn pobl yn gweld, gwaith yn adol y dacl, y taclo cadarn, ond hefyd mae gydaf er gallu i meiddi am ddiffynwyr, mae'n fwy Mae'n fwy mor, mae'n fwy cryf ni'n gweld enghraifft yn ein. Mae'n ddysg cael y byl, cyflymder, y strwythau i, I, I osgoi'r dacl yna. A mae fe'n holl bwysig i llan yn dyfri'n dobant o gytrau a noson, uh, noson uh, iau. Ie, yeah, cais y gyngrer y tymor dweitha gan Osian. Beth am ni'n siarad am Evan Loite, oedd Steph yn siarad gyda fe. Mae e'n gallu rheoli i'r gêm ac yn gallu bod mor ddylanwadol. 38 o bwyntiau gan fe'n barod y tymor hwn i'w dîme. 
Ydyw, mae'n gallu llwyr chwarae hefyd, mae'n ma chwarae yw'r celfydd iawn. Um, Ithe dyfe isgar ar brydiau hefyd, a mae gyda fe a, a mento fel bydd hat, fel bydd hat, mewn Jason Strange sydd yn, yn helpu fe gyda'i gêm reoli falle. Ni gweld fy nyn, jyst ei gredd cyntaf e pob tro yw i... Mae'n am, am y tygad i'r gap, a wedyn yn rhyw thai pob ar y tu allan. Mae'n ma'n bwysig, wrth gwrs, i ffordd mae ma, ma glyn ei bwyn mae'n wadau'r gêm. A ni'n gweld i'n mwy thet o fy nyn, jyst y lefel dyfu isgarwys i gyda fe, a creu digrwys i gyda fe. Mae'n ma'n jyst yn, yn gweld bod yna cyfleon ar y tu allan. Ac uh, mae fe'n holl bwysig i'r, i'r ffordd mae glyn ei bwy yn ymwaru. Mae ma hefyd gyda uh, cyflymder, yn gallu eich wystrelli cyflymder mewn i pob math o symudiad. Mae Jason Strange yn ymuno gyda ni fy nyn now. Jason, thank you all. Ni, ma, uh, we've got your own mic for you. I was going to share the mic with you. It's lovely to see you. How are you? Yeah, very good, thanks. Are you excited about this one? We were just saying, top of the table clash. Does it feel that big? Is that the sort of team talk vibe in the changing room at the moment? Yeah, both teams have started the season really well. Um, but I don't think, you know, tonight's game will have a huge bearing on the season because there's a long way to go. But um, it'll certainly give us confidence if we, you know, um, turn over the team which uh, won the championship last year. And what about you yourself with this side? Because you had a tough start to your time here, didn't you? But things kicked off last season. You finished fifth. But things seem to be clicking for you now as coach of this side. Is that how it feels? Yeah, we're building slowly. Um, it was always going to be a long-term project. Um, but the important thing tonight is that we just be ourselves and um, we don't get overawed by Land Devery's uh, reputation from last season and I think if we do that we'll, we'll more than um, do ourselves justice What do you make of the work that Eros has done with Land and Devery? Oh, he's done a fantastic job um, and on and off the field they're a really good club they've got good values um, they've got a good business model um, and yeah the, the record speaks for itself. He really hasn't just done it one year, he's done it for the last seven or eight years and, yeah, um, can't speak highly enough of him. Jason, it's lovely to see you again. Uh, good luck. I'll take the microphone off you. Uh, go and talk to your team. Thanks very much, Jason. We'll speak to you later. Dyna ni, Jason Stranger, mynd amdani, a mae'r ddau o'r bonheddig yma hefyd yn mynd at i ti mae sylweb i nhw. Mae Steph yn mynd i ymuno gyda'r hisap William a mae Nathan yn mynd i ymuno gyda'r Evan Lloyd, the playmaker, we heard from him earlier on. And uh, good to see Cameron Regan back from Pontypool for his second spell. A bit of a uh, Celt hero here on the blind side there. So a difficult one to call. Flandervry first, Ebervale second. Ebervale, one of three Gwent clubs in the top four at the moment, but it's early days in the Indigo Premiership at the moment. So that's Flandervry there in the uh, luminous green. And uh, playing from left to right, there's the referee. How long are they on, John? And a bit of a fortress, this, for Ebervale, Eugene, Eugene Cross Park, Signer Glass okay. Stadium at Eugene Cross Park, to give it its technical name. Come in! Come in! And it'll be... <whistles> Johan Hughes to... Start for the Drovers, the champions, of course. An early kick downfield downtown by Evan Lloyd. 38 points already this season. The fly half. Wales in the 20s international. And a bit of early kicking tennis. about on as even with that uh, duel and I'm pleased to say I've been joined as a co-commentator tonight by the former Wales three quarter Nathan Brew. Good evening Nathan, how are you looking forward to this one? Yeah, very much looking forward to it. I think uh, the weather had held out a little bit. I think it's starting to come down a little bit light. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too too heavy. But yes, yeah, there's a bit of a battle of the Titans in, in, the, in the forwards, obviously. Um, Pandavriar at the minute looking very strong, so hopefully uh, we should see an entertaining game.
Yeah, Evan Lloyd was saying, wasn't he, that uh, conditions, although they were dry early on, it's a bit deceiving because it's quite greasy underfoot. You've been out there. What were your thoughts? Yeah, no, it's particularly greasy and it's always hard as well when uh, when you seemingly dry and then at the last minute you, you uh, the ball you know hits the, hits the ground and and, and flays uh, any which direction. So no, it's difficult conditions. Um, I think it could be greasy in hand as well, but I think there's enough skill in the in both sides for us to to witness a, a great game. Yeah, it was a cloying drizzle blowing down the ground. Now you may not be able to see it that well on screen, but uh, I can assure you it's happening, and it's probably favouring Ebel Vale. Even on a misty day at Ebel Vale, you can still clearly see the mist. <laughs> That's the 22 of Sandavri. Good start by Ebel's forwards here. Although they have been turned there, and uh, Lee Reese, the hugely experienced Sandavri scrum half, gets the moving. Error out wide though. The referee is set. Uh, no, he has brought it back. Knock on, boys. It's perhaps a case, case in point there where we see the ball difficult to take. Yeah, it is, it is difficult. I mean, okay, it's okay. Uh, the lights are okay, quite bright. And, um, on the back? Yeah. It's like said, relatively dry. It, uh, it, can, uh, it can come out of a hand quite easily. Um, yeah, he's off his okay. feet, Ebervale just missed out on promotion last year. They uh, didn't get sufficient bonus points, really. That was the story of their season. And I know that uh, talking to the Ebervale camp, that's one of the things they're trying to improve on this season. Perhaps okay. a shoe at goal more and going for line out position. Six, can we be six? Bring six. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Don't need your the, the report is that it's late, ball is long gone, okay? So timing needs to be better, so penalty only. Thank you. It's Cameron Regan. Where the, the ball has landed, party. yeah? We'll take Back the penalty, from boys, okay? He was a real cult hero here in the no. days sorry, in where uh, we are. Yeah, sorry, boys. The late... It was, it was past then what, kick. 20, so 16, 16, 17, 18, when uh, Everville were, were champions. Boys. Along with a man called Ronnie Kynes, you might remember. It's out, boys. Is it Mark, okay? On or behind it? A basic touch finder from Johan Hughes. The boys know to set, okay? If there's an issue, I'll come and have a look. Yeah, slightly late. <laughs> Almost posthumous from uh, Cameron Regan. Great character, though, one of the great characters of Gwent Rugby, Cameron Regan. I say he played in that great Ebervale side with the likes of Ronnie Kynes and uh, Rob Sevenoaks. In the fight, Matthew boys. Chunky Williams. And Damien yeah. Hurd, of course. Fabulous pack Don't of forwards that won the championship, or won the premiership, rather. Scrum off, that's one. Back in 2017. Use this six, come out and run. Yeah. <laughs> it in green, boys. Scrum. Okay. That will get the advantage. Yeah, so um, <coughs> you referred there to it, some great uh, stalwarts of the game. And Damien Hudd, obviously, who's, who's still here, playing his trade. <laughs> I think it's uh, Bryn Bryn Mauer, Mauer, isn't it? it? That's right, yeah. yeah. Mark, okay. So, um, yeah, the, his love for the game will, uh, will never cease, uh, that's for sure. Yeah, I went to interview him once in a tattoo parlour, believe it or not, in Bristol. He was having his latest tattoo done. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Well, this pack of Ebervale forwards are uh, doing the... Bind. The old stalwarts proud so far this season. Three from four, Ebo. Sandavri, four from four. And Ebo get the penalty. Lee Reese around a bit quick. Against one, boys. There's Lee Reese. 323rd appearance for the Drovers tonight. A yeah. great stalwart. Exactly, I was going to say exactly the same thing. And, and uh, you look at his game, and he hasn't slowed down at all. He's still sniping. He's still uh, a threat around the fringes. Green on so, the line. Um, Green on the line, boys. Okay. Fifteenth consecutive season. It's phenomenal, isn't it? There's the captain of Ebo tonight, Reese Francis. Second spell at the club. Had a bit of a sabbatical to get over a shoulder injury. Three tries already this season, and he's found his man, and that's a nice no, little stay. shunt by Ebu. You're fine, don't change your mind. Stay. Stay. Land over 22. Scrum half, that's once. Five and run. Still got a little bit of momentum going there. 
Now they let it go to Evans. Lloyd. 14 so, seconds. Not a great uh, kick pass. And easy. Two's on 12, stay 10, stay. So Van Derby and Ever will be back where they started yeah. on the opposite side. Yeah, perhaps a bit of wasted uh, bit of possession there. I think that's one of the parts of, of, uh, of their game that Pink they're going to need to focus on tonight. It's trying to have a bit of level Pink of patience, line, boys, okay? go through the phases. I think there's, a, there's definitely line. a level of belief in uh, and the amount of the team. You can see there that the, the winger actually was uh, open there. It looked as if they have gone through the hands, albeit maybe it's the, it's the conditions that prevented that from going wide. But I think that's something that, that Jason Strange is a big fan of, just trying to get whipped through when he can. Backwards. Knock on advantage screen. Knock on green. Advantage. Taking advantage of the knock on. Johan Lloyd tries the long wiper, cross field wiper, and he's found some green as well. A useful kick from Lloyd. Ebo green out you can. Forced to Keep play going. it in field to try and get a bit of an angle on the no, kick. Getting a fair bit of possession early doors. It's a 10 metre line. And the commentator's curse. Don't need you either, then, boy. Yeah, they get, they have, they're getting a fair bit of possession. I think that um, speaking to, to Strangey before the game, he was he was more interested in trying to get a level of territory um, and kind of almost forcing them to play it out at the minute. They seem to be trying to, to play a little bit too much, but um, I think it was just unfortunate. The pod that was set up well, potentially were expecting him to go a little bit further and not to hit the ground as quickly as he did. So That's a useful nudge from Ewan Hughes as well, taking play down into the Set. 22. And they will get the throw, of course. Line out is successful. Harry Thomas, the young, very promising 18 year old in the van there from the Scarlet's Academy. Now they release it. Max Page, another 18 year old in the center. It was quick for Leary's, but he just stumbled at the last minute. And Austin Davis has to take it on. The Burley flanker. Berry and Watkins. Have ever turned it? I think they have. And it's Lewis it's Young. It, and they get the penalty as well. Oh, that's great work on the floor by Lewis Young. This is uh, Bretton Better, obviously. He's trying to get over that ball, win that ball back for, for his team. Did a great job there. And this is where, again, looking for a bit of field position here. Yeah. Getting it. Thank you, that's a great kick as well. It is from Johan Lloyd. That is a good 50 odd metres. Here's Lewis Young, and there's Johan Lloyd. Played a bit for the Dragons, Wales Under-20s International as well. 23. Yeah, Evan Lloyd. Uh, could still come again, perhaps, Evan Lloyd? Oh, I think so. I haven't seen the, the, the skill set on, on him. I, I mentioned it a little earlier in uh, um, the front part of the, ch of the program that um, working alongside someone like Jason Strange, that was a great when it comes to when it came to game management. I think that'll develop that side of his game. I think he's got all the all the attributes to, to play out in half. He's got a great skill set, kicking, passing out of hand. Um, we've seen a few of his, uh, his his miracle passes that have come off as well. So he's got all the attributes. It's just trying to get that game management under his skin as well. Yeah, 38 points this season already, 195 last season, a big weapon for Ebervale, Evan Lloyd. Crunch! Bind! Oh, let's have a look at this scrum. Difficult to see which pack is on, on top at the moment. Reset, boys, let's go. Both of you, the call is boys, yeah. It's a useful half-back partnership, actually, for uh, Evo and Evan Lloyd. And when you think of John Evans, uh, Pro 14 winner with the Scarlets, great experience there. 
it's some some half back partnership. Yeah, definitely, and, and and this is where Evan Lloyd will uh, benefit as well. He's got someone very experienced inside him that can can support him and de develop him into into a ten that's got a level of um, I guess balance in his approach. Um, yeah, John Evans obviously he's played at the highest level for Bath, the Scarlet, the Dragons. So he's a he's a, he's a pretty uh, experienced player. And that's uh, a good shunt from Ebel, and there'll be applause all around there up front, and they're off as well, John Evans, but I think they will come back. There's uh, the man in the van of that, Morgan Davis, 23-year-old, and that was a sign of uh, potency from Ebel. Yeah, again, I think Jason said at the start as well that the importance of getting that ascendancy um, in, in the scrum or, or in the lineup as well. I think they've, they've potentially got it. They, they, he was looking for parity. I think they've actually got the, the ascendancy potentially. Not that I know much about the scrums and lineups, Stephen. That's why I was leaving, leaving it to you. <laughs> so here's Evan Lloyd. Can he go over 40 for the season? No problem for the fly half, and it's first blood to Edo. And not only that, uh, it was the manner in which they got the penalty, Nathan Brew. Yeah, definitely. I think that the, um, as I mentioned, the scrum is, is definitely a weapon for them, and they're going to look to capitalise on that this evening. They're targeting um, the, the, the line out as well as the scrum. And as I mentioned, it seems as though they've, they've got the ascendancy currently, which means that puts them in a, in a good position. Um, field position is important for them. We know that. You know, Sandavri love to, to play that expansive run in rugby. Obviously, the conditions may not suit that. So the more that they can pin them behind, um, then they potentially get that that kind of uh, that possession back in the right areas of the field. It looks like uh, John Evans down at the moment. That'll be a big loss, wouldn't it? Abby, there you go. Oh, could have been just a bit of cramp, maybe. Back up. Good to see. Hopefully not after 12 minutes. You, know? <laughs> you never know at Ebbo Vale. <laughs> yeah, and he, and he is the wrong side of 30 as well, isn't he? So you never know. Alt altitude and all that, you know. <laughs> not able to yeah. claim the restart though. How often do we see that? Side. And an offside as well. So an immediate chance for the Drovers to get back on terms. Yeah, that's um, it's very frustrating, isn't it? Very basic stuff. Um, obviously, trying to, to regather the restart is probably the mo one of the most important things after scoring points. And looking across at the uh, the coaches' uh, bench beside us, they're not best pleased with the fact that they weren't able to, to reclaim that um, lack of communication. Perhaps the player coming onto the ball is typically the one that should be taking it, but he took his eye off the ball, expecting the person in front of him to take it. So, yeah, lack of communication. Yeah, a bit of a dog's breakfast all round there. Now, talking about points machines, we've mentioned Evan Lloyd. Jack Maynard, this is. 1,472 points just for Clandevery. He's also played for other clubs as well. Cardiff, for example. Still only 28. Go back. And he's Go up back to 40 to this season already. He was the highest scorer in the league last year. So you don't want to give too many penalty shots to this guy either. in point and you've seen how about how evenly matched the two teams are Nathan a penalty count could be a big thing tonight oh massively and I think um, you know making sure that they are taking points whenever they're within the, the 22 or within uh, points distance effectively is going to be is going to prove crucial because both teams love to play for the full full 80 minutes so it's going to come down to you know, moments like that, and uh, it's a great kick by Jack Miner. He's got great experience as well. He's obviously ex Scarlets as well, so I think he brings not only that kicking experience but that level of level headedness Option behind. Three. And there's from an error. Right. Coach Killer from Evan Lloyd. That's most unlike him. Out on the full, so it gives Slend every an immediate chance to uh, plant a foothold in Ebel territory. Yeah, again, very frustrating. Two, two, that's the second mistake and two consecutive mistakes actually as well, and, and two basic skills the, the restart and then the, the catch off the off the restart from the opposition so i think that's certainly something that will um, hopefully not go against them but they'll uh, they'll uh, certainly be frustrated with 
Two on that left hand side. Uh, three and to get the penalty. Lee Reese is same off. issue as before, boys. If you're going quick, it's behind the scrub. Yes, he wants it taken again. A little bit of bifters. Take your teams away, boys. Six again. Take your times away. And the two full backs involved. Boys, three. Nice to see. Like a young Phil Steele back in the day, wasn't there? <laughs> Um, the mark, again, right? it looked as though obviously the scrum was um, was again too you strong were, from at the ten, at the from Evervale, vale, but I think it, I think they may have just uh, engaged too early, which is what penalty. the penalty was given penalty, for. Boys. You've got to chase your feet. You've gone straight to ground. <laughs> Forty ten, boys. <laughs> and Ewan Hughes going for the corner. That's a pretty decent effort as well by the fly half. Uh, great, great kick, um, and this is a, a great Just position now for Van yeah. uh, to take advantage. Yeah. See Harry Thomas there wiping the ball. You can see how uh, dewy and wet the surface is Set. with the drizzle. Oh. Take it in the middle. Yeah. Billy basic ball. Oh. Smuggle back to Harry Thomas. Product of the New Dog Stars Club, internationally very famous club. Produced players like uh, Florence Delaney amongst others. Thomas Scarlett's Kenneth Wales prop. Two now out from Arthur's once. But it's set. Uh, yeah, seven lead from Flandevery and they have to let it go in the end. A little bit of a wraparound, a break in the middle and a chance out wide if they can get it out to that left wing. Bit of a Barnes Wallace pass, but it's picked up and it's a try for Flandevery and it's Aaron Warren on that left wing. Well, as soon as that uh, line break was made, if they could get it to the left, which they did, bit of a Barnes-Wallace pass, but Warren took his time, and there's the first try. Yeah, well worked try there as well, and you could almost see what they were trying to do. They were they were pretty wide. The winger, the left winger in particular, was exceptionally wide, and then they were quite narrow there, which which meant that there was a potential gap through the middle, which is what Johan Hughes capitalised on. And then, as you said, great hands, very clinical for Thandavri. This was good. this I think this evening, and with these within these conditions. Excuse me, it's going to be uh, very important that they're able to take advantage of any of the opportunities that are presented to them. Um, but that was a very well worked try, obviously straight off the training paddock, and it's, uh, it's given them an opportunity to go further ahead. Showing all his experience there, Aaron Warren didn't panic. It's a 103rd try for the club for him. 31 year old. Is Maynard right from the touchline? No. Shaving the right upright, but at the end of the first quarter, it is uh, Sandevery who lead. Yeah, you can see here how I don't know if we're gonna we're gonna perhaps be zooming in at the minute, but when it, when it pans out a little bit wider, you see how wide the winger is. Um, it's always difficult to defend knowing how. Teams that are looking to kick across the field at the minute, so the winger and the, and the centre, the outside centre in particular, have to go a little bit wider just in case that kick across the field comes, um, which opens up a little bit of a gap in the middle and that's great uh, interplay. And Warren's experience there, he didn't sort of come in for the ball, he just held his line, waited for it to uh, to bounce and picked up the bounce, and they're off again. Sandovery threw Warren up that uh, left-hand side. Roy kicks downtown. Well, that's much quicker for Sandevery. Forward can Amir Giawalji capitalise. It's a 10 metre line of the drovers. Advantage. Lloyd finding green again. Oh, it's a terrific kick from the fly half. 
God, we have a 50 50. Now take it back. It wasn't a 50 22, boys. We're back to the penalty. Okay. And that's interesting. It wasn't a 50 22 because he was in the land every half. And good refereeing there, bringing it back for the penalty, two. feeling that it was more of an advantage two penalties, two to have the penalty. Coming to the side and taking them off. Even though it's back. I need your performance. We had an issue with you. Listen to oh. me. You personally, I need you to improve. Okay? What issue with me in the Issue with the mall down there. there. Yeah, having a go with their second row is a report. No more from you, thank you. And now you've gone inside here. Improve your discipline. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. no worries. But second. I don't see Captain. Issue. Captain. Yeah. You've got two options. You've got a penalty here in the side or an offside here. Penalty yeah. You've got penalty here. Penalty yeah. here. Penalty here. Penalty here is for offside, boys. I thought he was going to say go, we'll go, have go. both penalties, please. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I think um, I think the ref was, was did, did a great job in, not, in offering that opportunity. I think uh, whilst it was uh, probably a decent opportunity and position that they would have been in for, in the hope that Sandovi would obviously mess the lineup up and uh, look to play out, I think that this is obviously where they want to be in point in a in with an opportunity to get some points, basically. No problem at all for Evan Lloyd, straight through. Two from two for him, and uh, gather we're going to go pitch side to Katrin, who's got company. Yeah, we've got Cumney, Joe Rogers, um, what are all our team? Are you thinking they're back up at Um Only what's that in good body, but they're not going to skim along. Oh, Ben Dan, you need to go to the Dolan and Arnosia, you need to try to throw in the Lanolin and Dolan, Arnosia, you're going to very tell you, it's even great, but. Um, Joe Rogers there, the team manager of Flandavri, great character. There's a lot for club rugby in general, not just Flandavri. What was he saying there, Nathan? He was just saying how, how much they, they were aware that it was going to be difficult to come down here, um, particularly under these conditions to play. But he said that the, one of the kind of targets was to come down here and try and play a bit and they're happy that they, they were able to get the first try particularly and he's happy that we're still quite comfortable in uh, playing that expansive rugby which is something that they're, they're quite proud of as a team Away green. Right, I wonder if you'll say that in the second half <laughs> yeah exactly at the moment though the conditions are still pretty good as I said earlier the drizzle possibly favouring Abu John Evans Moy taking it to the line and getting a breakthrough as well. It's uh, Duawalji. Can he go all the way? What a great score that is for Eber Vale. Amir Duawalji coming off the blind side wing, looking for work, and he gets his reward. First try for Ebu. Yeah, and we can see um, the danger that is um, Evan Lloyd. Um, he takes the ball so flat to that line, and because he's got the ability to offload with either either hand or both hands. He's always got always a, th a running threat, and on that occasion, as you can see, he takes it flat to the line. But then the winger, and there was obviously the the, um, the flanker inside him as well. But the winger on the outside was there on hand to support him. But if you see here, you can see you can see him thinking. Right, there's a gap. They look to go inside, and he knows that there's going to be support on the outside. And then the winger just shows great gas and perseverance to get over that line, which is uh, which is a fantastic try for Abwell. Yeah, another product of uh, Cardiff Metropolitan University. And Year 8 at Ascolvri the Wine in Aberdeer will be very proud of Sir there. He's head of Year 8. School teacher at Ascolvri the Wine is Amir Jiwawalji. So applause off his year group tomorrow. And Evan Lloyd make it three from three. <laughs> Not quite. Ebu do have the lead, 11 8. 
Yeah, I, I mean, the more I see Evan Lloyd, the more, more excited I am about him as a prospect. I think that um, being able to play week in, week out, and as I said, have the mentorship of someone like Jason Strange is, is, is something that's going to certainly benefit him. How would that work then? Would the, the, obviously the Dragons would still keep an eye on him and uh, talked with Jason Strange about his progress? Yeah, I'd like to think so. I think that, you know, um, he's obviously a, a, a byproduct of the system. So it's something that, uh, you know, once you once you get released, you don't always get released forever. And if you're, if you're turning up performances week in, week out, um, they're surely going to come knocking, aren't they? And particularly with the uh, financial considerations in Wales, where they can't, you can't go abroad so much now and look for, for an, uh, an import. No, exactly. I mean, you've got talent like that within Wales. Why not try and invest in, in local talent, right? So um, I think it makes everybody sense. And, I mean, Jason um, and I were talking a little bit earlier, and um, he's um, during the summer periods he spends time up in St Helens with the, with you know helping them with the skills and their kicking and things. So for him to bring that experience back to Edinburgh Bay and to someone like Evan Lloyd is, is priceless. And supporting on your hands, okay? Then you've gone on the board. Time it otherwise is fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. too many penalties. Yeah, like I just said, yeah. I know it's high. Do you need time to have a chat? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Do you, yeah? yeah I have time to have a chat. Jack Jones, the captain. Just two seconds. Time's off, with okay. the referee. Yeah. Cameron Lewis Abby? with the carry. Is Lloyd going to go for gold with this? Yeah. Finds a safe one. Stay in the 15, okay? Knock on advantage. Van Hilver, stay in front of the kicker. Now you're on, thank you. Morgan Richards back for Ebu. Out, Pink, out. Green, out you come. Out. That's right. quite a nasty one. And away, Blue. From uh, Hughes. 20 stay, 20 stay. Now you're on, thank you. You and Lloyd, uh, Evan Lloyd do this time. It's the 10 metre line of Sandavri. No. No. Use it! Reese propels it aerially. Knock on. Oh, no. Yeah, it's knocked on, boys. And all sorts of knock ons there. First one by Sandavri, and then we'll get the scrum advantage. Yeah, a bit of. Um, Bit of tennis being played there with the ball, but it's, it's, these these conditions uh, are notoriously difficult to, uh, to try and uh, regain high balls in uh, Neville Vale. But um, good challenge, fair challenge in the air by Evan Lloyd there. But um, yeah, coming up to the half hour mark, Evan will have the three point advantage. Three has come in. Get three. You think Maynard will fancy this? Get three, boys. Coming in. And that time against Harry Drain, the tight head of the post, Jess. Vale. And Maynard is going for the post. It's got yeah. the look already, hasn't it? Even after half an hour of a, of a one score game. Yeah, and, and I think discipline's going to. Uh, be the key factor because when you, when you, particularly so like when you're wider. looking at the, the kicking prowess of uh, Jack Maynard, he can kick it from from anywhere on the field, really within uh, within uh, Ebbervale's half, particularly. So um, yeah, I think discipline is going to be key. Still only 28, Jack Maynard. Been one of the one of the greats of, of the Premiership, really, since uh, in the 20 odd years it's been uh, going. Yeah, it's certainly, um, <clears throat> like I said, he's, he's got he brings a lot of experience to uh, to the Sandbury team, um, not just his kicking abilities. And that looks pretty useful as well. 
but uh, just falling short. Pink, look, stay, stay. Look good from the low angle. Just got under it a bit, though. Oh, you can green, keep going. Reese puts it high. Yeah, good. Yeah. Backwards, big play. Contest. John Evans is under it. No. No, no. <laughs> John Evans that time. Come on, boys. Green. You can see that um, you know Fandavi really trying to start to play these conditions. Pink, this is the kick that just fell a little bit short. Green. I think he just got got underneath it, didn't he? Uh, rather than through it. He knows, uh, he, knows he, could, he could slot those all day long. On the last one. with the best away team last season. They won nine of their 11 games away from home, so they, they don't fear coming to the Sina Stadium. Reese goes to that blind side. What's he spotted? Max Page, the youngster, trying to go on the outside. It's back inside, didn't go forward. And they're carrying on the attack, the Drovers. Jamie Hughes, the loose head. Advantage coming. Berry and Watkins in the shadow of the Ebu posts. New advantage, boys. Still using the big men in the port stand every knock on though and we will come back for wait, the penalty. Wait. Yeah. they've taken quickly and Reese got over the line but I don't think the referee's going to allow Outside, that boys, two. Gets two. yeah I think he was uh, he took that away from the mark didn't he um, but it goes to show obviously when they're going through the uh, the phases um, keeping their patience they're, they're either coming away with with a penalty or, or a try, so um, Not a I think that, as I mentioned earlier, dis discipline is going to be crucial from both sides. But I think at the minute, Sandavri are clearly in the ascendancy with, uh, with, with possession. They also want a six game winning streak, the Drovers. They uh, last lost. At Newport, 52-33 in May. You might remember that one on S4C Click. Terrific game at Rodney Parade. So here's uh, Jack Maynard to try and level it up. And no problem for Jack Maynard. All square as we approach half time. There's Ira Sevens, the Island Every coach, Premiership winning coach last season. All right. All right. So five minutes to half time. Green, stay. Yeah. Exit is good from the Drovers. Up to halfway. And here's Jack Maynard. And that's five or six. Why not? You come in the back. Thank you. Bruce Francis, the captain. Good bad news, boys. Yeah, Green, we've gone early, boys. We've and a gone chance early. Now for Evan Lloyd Too to early, boys. drill play down into the Sand every 22 and perhaps get something on the board again for Ebel before half time. Go for goal, gents. In fact, he's going for goal. Well within his range, usually, but of course, uh, the conditions are not easy, particularly for that non kicking foot. Although he has got a bit of a. Uh, the drizzle and the breeze and behind him. Half, 
fact, it's just when he's put the tee, it's just inside the uh, Ebu half, so to be a real boomer. You see his uh, breath and the drizzle in the background there, just blowing in his favour, and he's given that a fair old thump. And oh, what a hit from Evan Lloyd! Well, he put the siege gun into that one. The dynamo boot of Evan Lloyd takes Ebo three points clear again. So now it's a case of consolidating, and as a, that's happened after their uh, Alan Warren try. Here's the mark, okay? uh, rather the uh, on, Amir Jiwawalji well, try and it's happened again for Ebervale well, well, and it's left Sandavri in with a chance to get back on terms in one way or the other yeah, just a basic spill of the kickoff Horlicks at the kickoff and uh, Jason Strange will be tamping at that one They said it leaves the drovers in with a, a bit of a shout just before half time. Taken at the front and wrapping around as well. Front peel, Oshin Davis. Say here, boys. Skipper, Jack Jones. Oshin Davis again. Good Ebo first up tackling though. Jamie Hughes doing a few of the hard yards, does well too, comes in field. Jones the skipper once more. Slant every going back against the grain. Rock! Then go! Watkins. Lee Reese to Johan Hughes. Still Ebel holding big. firm with that Stay defensive in. line. Reese goes blind again. What's he seen there? Overdose of gravity on the sand every attacker from the Ebel defense. Less than a minute to go and have Ebo turned it. They have, but uh, the referee gives a penalty anyway. Kevin's out, boys. Are we going to have a general warning or is. Where we are, yeah. It's going to be a big one advantage of another penalty here. Chris Francis, the skipper. Behavior needs to change. Okay, that's what he's going to do. I say bad. Listen, I'm, I'm telling you, Beaver needs to change in this area, okay? Penalty is here. Not supporting his weight, okay? Do you need a time to talk? Okay. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's just three of us, okay? On me. Anyway, there, okay. Looks like a no-arms tackle against uh, Jacob Malecki, the Poland yeah. international. Two. Oh, and there's a, there's a high one. The rain coming down quite heavily now. And here's Maynard to try and level it up at half time. No problem at all. The clock is red, that should be just about it. Referee doesn't seem to think so, although our clock shows uh, nearly 41 minutes. So Evan Lloyd, they got Ebo going again. It's obviously a discrepancy between the official timer and the, uh, the clock that we've got. But uh, of course, the referee, the sole arbiter of time. Use it! 
Two state. Yeah, no, you're on. Tag it away, Green. Good. It's the halfway line. Evans to Evan Lloyd. Are right, you coming, Green? Picked up off his toes with the yeah. fly paper hands right, that time by Lloyd. Good kick chase as well by Abu. No. Come on, use it. Use it. Lee Reese with the trusty left boot down the tram line. Found on the far side, and that surely must be it. Yes, it is. Referee's whistle goes for half time. And all square, and uh, you get the feeling it's going to be the team that handles the uh, conditions better in the second half. At half time, there we are. It's Ebo Vale 14, Landavri 14. Yeah, we got Kumni scorer Kais in a boy, Amir Joe Amir Kais Guif, Gratti and Berso and all on. He won one place at Hanner Kentana. Yeah, if you're honest, you need a need lot to better than mine. And you need better than Anna than you need Vids. Troy scored a point, yeah, winning Methy, um, Cal Exit Glan, Trina Pedro Gwaith for us. So I suppose you need on us, I don't know if I'm I'm going to play Derby Credit. Yeah, I'm glad I'm looking to move to Mark Moyne now. But it's a big thing here in Ryan Hanner. Tiri Ogeth, just while in our Dalit Coer. Um, I suppose Cam, 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 Cam Gamariada mini dig with. Um, Need to show my dig with and Hannah. No. Brilliant. Pub look at him and I'll hand it. Yeah. Yes, in bed. I will hand it to the team. I'm going to bring us down. Better than the other guys. Guys, I'm here. Not to the team. Catrinol. Now we're going to be rolling on the brigal. The guys can't dig on the play. A real arm wrestle, not guy, but there's a season and the other day, and I'll be in the way to Egal. I'm a toad, Weddy Guithaki, not even for the Roy, my brolly's mask, my cotta can his mask at any. I was a Maramode, Weddy Troy, I'm a Guitha, how do I do? And a game, Nathan, and Troy Masvel, or you had a disco, well, Nathan, you wait, and Gustad Leol, and. Um, Ne bi sure a gormod i'r tîm arall. Ah, sicr, yma, o'n i'n gweithio yn gweithio yn gweithio yn gweithio yn yn gweithio yn gweithio yn iawn. Um, Mae'r ymwoda wedi falle newid pethau. Mae'r angen nhw'n nawr a ddasu y ffordd yn ymwain wara. Gallu gweld o'r ddechrau, oedd yr awydd i, I, I wara um, gym a gored. A iang, oedd i'r ddau'r dîm, ond nawr mae'n rhaid edrych am tiriogaeth. Ond, er yr elfennau'r asgellwyr sydd wedi sgorio, beth am yn edrych ar y cais cyntaf te i lan am ddyfri ar yn warren, um, beneidio hyn, Nathan? Ja, yeah, nu så en 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 point the way bjöden hot boys igår och uh, han sade att på bina och kräver att det är så att nu är det att att ska se ut att Kevin och Hevid och han har fått nåt att i han var så i hus min tröja och det är just en man där nu så en man där där kör det på en game och precis gröda och kallar level och kör det på en game så han är för jag är inte välvan att kais så vi kan komma redan att vända gå där. Ie, a Steph, mae'n bwysig yn dwi, tar yn ôl pa mae'r cais cyntaf yn cael ei sgorio, dyna'n unio yna, Thymir, oedd e'n dadan sodd i'r gym y ddau iawn gyda ti fyna, beth am i gais e? O, oh, oedd e'n gais, a ddech, o, just, fi'n credu y myddol fyd gyda fe, gweithio bant o'r asgell, mae'n digon rhoi ddi asgell o'r dros aros mas na, bod neith yn gwybod, just gweithio i gael dwylo ar y bel, a nath uh, Evan Lloyd job really dda, just mynd ar at y lunau, cadw'r bel yn fyw, ond rhaid gweud, chymwyd, i sgori cais fel ad. Uh, a strwyth there, cryf there. Dyma dad lwythiad. Mae'n still lot i wneud gyda fe, wrth e? O, se, cyflym der, pŵer dyfe hefyd, a wedyn just a dyfel bar hard i, I, I mynd dros y llunedd gais fyna. Yn i gweld un wrthedda Evan Lloyd, just y ffordd mae'n gallu agor lan yr amddiffyn gyda'r ffaith mae'n mor flat, a mae'n allu gyda fe i gysyn i dod lwyth o'r bil. 
Bydde rwy'n yn disgwyl falle yn yr ail hanner, bod y blinwyr yn mynd i ddod nôl mewn i'r gêm a hefyd. Disgwyl bleth yn mynd i fod mor, mor bwysig. Achos mae'r cicwyr, maen nhw wedi bod yn gyson iawn mas na, maen nhw'n drif bwynt fy'n hyn a fy'n draw yn mynd i fod mor, mor bwysig o bos i'r Steff. O de, maen nhw, a diddorol gweld meddwl fydd y dyfarnwr yn mewn i'r ail hanner. Sawl cicos bod i bod gyda'r ddau di, felly y ddau di mae'r uh, garden felen nesa. Ond mae'r glaw yn dechrau dod mewn <laughs> So bydd cico fi'n siŵr a tiroogaeth yn uh, môr bwysig. Ond ni'n rhy hyderus yn dod i cyn y gig gyntaf. Boi fi yw hyn i gyd. Felly mae ail hanner y gêm ar y ffordd ac yna y rwthnos nesa. Wel, i ni'n mynd i fod yn Abertawe, achos mae nhw'n mynd i fod herio Aber Afan ac yna ar yr ail o dachwedd Pontypool yn erbyn Glyn Ebwy. Digon o rygbi o'r gyngrair hon i ddod ac ar y ffordd dros y rwthnos y nesa. Ond wrth gwrs i ni hefyd, fy'n hyn wedi bod yn canol bwyntio ar gwpan y byd. Achos mae'r gwrd dwsna i fi wneith yn briw, wedi bod yn brysur iawn hefyd dros yr wythnos edwaith yma. Yn teithio gwmpas Cymru, clybiau Cymru, yn amsugno yr holl a wyrgylch wrth i Gymru fynd amdani yn Ffrainc. Ar wythnos dwetha, wel oedd angen pwynt yn erbyn Georgia, ond oedd ei fod ar frig y grŵp ac a thneith yn fynd ar ei wybdaith i'r gogledd i weld siod hwyl o ddynant conwy. Pwys y cynnes i bryw yn y bar, ac o'r diwedd, dwi wedi torri'n rhydd o'r ffiniau lleol y dwyrain a wedi teithio lanu'r gogledd i ymweld a clwb rygbi Nant Conwy. Wel, fi wedi bod yma am pum munud yn unig, mae Glesni wedi tynnu fi tu ôl y bar i gweithio yn barod. Glesni, um, fel ti'n gweld y gym yma yn mynd heddi? O, oh, sicr da ni'n mynd i ennill, da ni'n mynd i roi 50 pwynt â'n yn blir. Williams yn mynd i hunan ac yn croesi. Pwy ap sydd ar y car? Ti wedi ware yn dda ti'n credu? Mm, pawb. Pawb yfe. So ti wedi bod yn watch yna i ti. Ti wedi bod yn neud gwsteb, ti wedi bod yn gwylio ti. Oh, Gwt o'na? Nice, ok da. Brilliant. North and Seath Mass. Yeah. Liam Williams. Williams. Lewis Fee Zamet yn ond i lyn. Zamet mewn i'r dwy'r hygen. Yn casglu ac yn sgori. A ti bod yn chwaith den cyfles i sy'n yfed. Right, Ale, chi wedi profi eich hunan mewn cystadleuaeth Wales Strongest Man. Gwrs, chi'n ffansio eich chances ar yma fi? Ia, iawn. Ie, ti o'n mynd amdani? Come on, edrych weld. Oh my! Uff, mae fe fe bach yn y man gryf. Diwedd anno. Chi'n lwcus bod i'n bwrw glaw, boes, achos ta sydd ddim, byddech chi'n cael am resl fyd hyn. O, byddech gleu. Uh, Ti'n edrych fod bod ti'n cael lot o sport, gormod o sport fyda? Um, ma, 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 ma fi'n droi yma straw, ma fi'n tybyn o fraint i mewn i ymweld ar y clybiau yma. Dwi'n si, cwrdd o'r cymeriad i gyd, a ond ein hyderus mewn mewn i ram yn esol yna, ond yeah. o ddalun, chwech deg mlwydd oed oedd e. Dwi'n chari ffeisau. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ffwl, nathan, ffwl. <laughs> o rwy'n arall sy'n joi o'ma straw a fam lai, achos mae allan yn ffrainc ers dychrau'r gystadleuaeth, mae bellach yma sey yn cadw llygad barcyd ar y cyfan i ni, a heddi fe gafodd tîm Cymru gyhoeddi ar gyfer y gêm fawr yn erbyn ar Ianyn, Lauren Jenkins, sydd ar y mateb i ni. Wel, am wythnos i dîm rygbi Cymru, maen nhw drwodd i rwyth o la ar frig ei grŵp am yr eildro, yn ôl yn ôl o dan fawr yn gatlyn mewn cwpa am byd. Ond maen nhw'n camu'r cwarteri heb eu hoelen oeth tylwb eu ffal y taw, dorod eu fraich yn erbyn Georgia. Er gweitha hynny, mae'r hyder dal yn llifo yng Ngarfan Cymru. Maen nhw'n ddigiro yn y ben campwriaeth, a mae hanes yn ei ffafrio yn erbyn yr alianyn. Ennill saith, colli dwy a un gêm gyfartal yn ei deg gêm ddwetha, ond mi fydda nhw'n ymwybodol y gorffennol yw hynny, mae heddiw yn dal yn lan. Mae'n edrych yn ofnadw mas e, yn diwi. Mae'n edrych yn horrible mas na. Dim byd fel hyn yng Nglinebwy. Ie, yeah. uh, beth am yn i drafod gobeithio yn Cymru te? Fel wedod Lauren fyddai ma'r record war yn Gatland yn wych, fe wedodd e yn y lle cyntaf byddai Cymru ar bois yma yn gwneud rhywbeth special. A ma nhw'n cadw at i gair, Stef? O, oh, maen nhw wedi bod uh, yn pleser i wylio. Ffordd maen nhw'n mynd at i gwaith, maen nhw'n yn amlwg yn, yn ffit iawn. Ma, ma Warren wedi siarad lot o byth i hwnna. Ond hefyd y hyder sy'n gyda nhw weithiau yn y gemau ydyw pethau ddim wedi bod, 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 bod yn perffaith, ond y gallu ar creid sy'n gyda nhw i ennill y gemau yn y diwedd wedi bod yn wych yn y gyd edrych mlaen am, am y gemau disadwr. A mae'r tîm wedi i gyhoeddi, beth am yn i edrych ar y pymtheg fydd yn dechrau, ar 23 fydd yn y garfan. Em, erbyn hyn, Nathan, mae fel petai yn enwedig gyda'r anafiadau bod y pymtheg yna yn dewis i hun. Rhywbeth o ddim yn digwydd o dan mwyn pethau? Na, sicr. Yn ffrwng bod mae Warren Gatlin yn, yn hoff iawn o cael 
achos Mae nifer wedi bod yn beirniadu perfformiadau nhw hyd yn hyn, rhai yn gweud bod ni ddim wedi gweld nhw ar ei gore, a sgwn i ydyn nhw'n cadw ei gore nhw tam bod nhw'n gorfod wynebu Cymru yn yr wyth ola. Ie, yeah, dyna'r pryder yn diwedd, mae ma, ma pawb wedi gweud bod nhw heb di perfformio um, lan i nawr, uh, ond ma, maen nhw'n diw performance enfawr a gobeithio'r dyw'r performance yna ddim yn dod allan yn erbyn ni nôr sadwn, achos um, ma gyda nhw'r allu o fewn y garfan. Um, Dwi'n hyderus, a mae ma cryd dy fi bod ti, fwy dynnu uh, o ran ymosod yn unwedig, bod gallu ni gael y fyddigoroedd. Nathan yn hyderus, be yma'n Steph? Ie, yeah, uh, fi'n hyderus. <laughs> fi'n cyrru mae'n mynd i bob bach yn y gosach na, uh, na wella ma pawb yn, yn disgwyl. Mae nhw'n dîm sydd i'ch chwarae yn, yn erbyn Zela Newydd, Australia, De Afrika, yn aml sy'n yn amlwg yn paratoi, gwicham, copan y byd. Fi'n, fi'n cyrru fi'n fi digon gyda Cymru yn eich y gêm, ond fi'n cyrru mae'n mynd i fod yn, yn gêm uh, agos. A peth yw, ni mynd i gael gymaint o rygbi, gwych ni'n gobeithio dros penws nos, achos mae'r peder gêm yn edrych yn addawol, a mae'n ddwy yn benodol sy'n tynnu dŵr i'r danedd, yn dosau uh, Zela Newydd yn erbyn i werddo. Pwy sy'n mynd ahona, a Ffrainc yn erbyn De Africa. Os modd dewis yn eillwyr o'r ddwy gêm na? Well, I don't know, I'm so far. So he's a bit of a cool for me. But Gacha, Gacha came and I bought and run the Venoga Keno. A team I've seen more and more that. Man of more Agos, Ialo, it was the only board in our team of Gore V and just us Gachi, Gadano, Ive, Vizela, and away. Ie, yeah, dyna'r cwestiwn dyfe, ydyn nhw wedi ware ffeil nhw yn barod yn erbyn De Afrig, os, os fwy gyda nhw yn erbyn Zela Newydd. Um, I fi mae ma Zela Newydd gyda'r rigormod uh, y bygwrth y tu ôl yn wedig, felly byddwn nhw'n gallu ddaglo'r amddiffyn galed sydd gyda i werdd ona. I fi, uh, Frank, uh, siŵr y fod bydd yn ennill yn erbyn uh, De Afrig. Ar gem arall wrth gwrs, Lloegr yn erbyn Fiji. Na, ar fi'n gwybod bod Fiji wedi colli yn erbyn Portugal, ond mae rhywun yn teimlo, falle... Mae nhw wedi curo'r Lloegr. Mae nhw'n gwybod sy'n wneud yn nawr. A dyna, mae nhw, a hyd ond am y gêm Portugal na, mae nhw wedi bod yn, yn well, wyrthiol yn, yn ystod Copan y Byd, y ffordd mae nhw'n chwarae, yn wedi gynnau bod yn Australia, oedd yn gêm enfawr iddyn nhw, felly yn feddyliol, bod nhw'n cymryd lot o hyder mas o hwnna, a fel chi'n gweud yn, yn meiddi Lloegr fyd. So, uh, Ie, fe ddau'n gwisgo yn Grys Fiji dros y penodnos. <laughs> Fi'n joi o'r ffaith, mae'r ddau'n o'ch chi'n gweni. Chi ddim yn mynd i symud o'r soffa dros y penodnos. Fi'n gwybod na, uh, gobeithio na chi ddim chwaith, achos mae gymaint o chwaraeon i ddod ar S4 Rec dros y diwrnodau nes a Cymru na erbyn ar Ianyn, fel o'n un sôn ddyd sadwr. Nac yna no sîl Cymru na erbyn Croasia mae'r pildrod yn ei ôl, gêm holl bwysig, ac yna uchaf bwyntiau'r penodnos ar sgorio hynny nos lun am bum munud ar hugen i ddeg. Reitau, nôl no, anni at heno, mae'r tîm yn dwi'n mas, uh, mae'n hollol gyfartal, pwy sydd ddim yn ei ennill hon mewn gair, Steph? Sain gwybod. Ok, ar y ffens, Nathan. Sain am ddyfri. Ok, dyna ni, nôl a chi at eich tîm y sylweb i chi. English language commentary is available on nôl anni at uh, Steph a chi, sy'n Gymraeg. Thank you, Kurt. There's uh, the man who scored Ebo's first try, Amir Jimo Walji. So Ebo playing into the uh, cloying drizzle here at the Sina Glass Stadium. 14 all. And it's all to play for in this second half. And uh, we wonder how important discipline will be and the uh, error count will be. And uh, the one. The side that gives away the field penalties and concedes the fewer errors you think would be the one that uh, prevails. First against second on S4C click. Morgan Richards back for Ebu. Early position for Tandavri in the second half. 
Yeah, we're good in the first half, boys. Keep it with there, okay? Go your 10, boys. Go to your AR. Ball at the back of the lineup for the Drovers. Knock on advantage. Already you can see the uh, greasy ball playing yeah, havoc with that Slanderbury back division. Knock and there we'll get the scrum. Hey, uh, I'd like to say Nathan Brew, former Wales three court, is back with me. He was just uh, ruminating to myself on the air there about the error count and the. Uh, the discipline, the penalty count, will be very important. Yeah, definitely. I think we we said for the start, sorry, I'm out of breath, we're on up those steps. And, uh, we said the the, uh, the game was going to be a close one, and it'll come down to the probably the final quarter of the game. So discipline is going to be obviously crucial um, and a critical factor from, from both sides because both sides got great kickers. So it's a, it's a, a three-point potential uh, opportunity they'll take advantage of. And a slight nudge again from Ebo. They've had the. Uh, Indian sign. The scrums in the first half certainly as Evan Lloyd tries a chip and chase. I think we'll come back for the penalty at the scrum though. But it was uh, it was good to see. Um, Time is off, boys. The half-time interview from. Uh, we got from the winger uh, Amir, Amir where he, uh, he uh, yeah, said he option, acknowledged okay. the fact so that the, the two exits that they should have had, which was the first one receiving the ball so off after the, the initial the points, the uh, and they, they struggled with that one. And then obviously yeah. the restart was certainly something that's going to potentially come back to haunt them, you know. As we are, not a penalty. <laughs> Double penalty, of course, for the obstruction. We're going for goal, Jess. I know I'm in there, and it's not that many. So it was the initial penalty at the and scrum, and then it was Evan Lloyd impeded. Box, you have a number. Marginal. Anyway, it's given, and Evan Lloyd has the chance to put Ebu back in the lead. Three from four so far. <laughs> Bisex the post perfectly. Ebu back in front. Yes, exactly what I said. Uh, what we just discussed with really. you. Obviously, in. Uh, Positions like that where there's ill-discipline, um, the likelihood is that the, uh, the opposing team is gonna, are going to come away with three points, aren't they? OK, when you're ready. There's Jason Strange, the Abervale coach. And now they do take the, uh, the restart. There's a bit of an Achilles heel for them in the first half. infield. Jack Maynard propels it into the Gwent night air. John Evans under it. Lloyd, that was touched in flight, so they're all on and a chance for Evervale. Advantage now to Maynard. And away goes Harry Dole. We haven't seen much of him as yet. Ball in hand. Lee Rees. Oh, bit of a paramedics pass that time. Did well to set it though. Reese again. Grubber through could be uh, useful. And not a great uh, pass in field either. Nebu in all sorts of trouble on their own line from that deft kick ahead. And they get the reward to the Drovers. Five, okay. 14. 14. Ah, 15 on the floor. 15. Thank you. Hold it on. And it's given against Morgan Richards for holding on. 
he thinks it's mistaken identity by the uh, looks of it. Yeah, it looks a lack of composure in the first instance. I think it was from um, uh, Carrick, McDonough. But um, yeah, holding on to the floor, I think perhaps he felt there was a potential opportunity for Everville to take advantage. I'm not sure, but you can see here a great, great first kind of slide in. Great work here, but perhaps instead of going into touch, he threw it over his shoulder with a bit of pressure on the, uh, the full back there. And yeah, he's holding on. He's, you know, Definitely a deliberate holding on, wasn't it? But I don't know whether it was who'd warrant a yellow card, but on the line, boys, yeah? On the line. Time is off. Adam Court. <laughs> Time is off. Adam Court is on. Line w is fanny, okay. fancying the the, the uh, line out drive here. Back we go, boys. <laughs> Part one done. Don't go to the holding it up so far. Now, and everybody trying to get the spin. And again, Ebel's second drive is good. And they, they get the reward of the scrum. Yeah, great work by the uh, by the pack there. Obviously, play it down now. They need to try and clear their lines here, take a bit of pressure off. Uh, off the team, try and play down that clock until they can get their player back. But great work from the, uh, the forwards, doing as, uh, as all good forwards should be doing and trying to break that more, roll them all up. Happy. Scrum, boys. Take it in green. Champions of the Premiership, of course, and every Ebel champions in uh, 2015-16. A great win in the final at Pontypridd, you may remember. Big scrum here for Ebervale. Set. Save the ball. And a pretty solid one, and they get the penalty. Two big psychological moments there, Nathan, the driving back of the rolling ball of Canterbury, and then the scrum penalty. Yeah, 100%. I think it's fair to say that the Everfield pack have kind of really uh, set a challenge for the uh, Canterbury pack this evening, and, uh, and they, they're coming up uh, on top, not on top, rather, at the minute. But I think you look at the two opportunities they've had here now, um, Canterbury, the... the Got to be a little bit frustrated that they haven't come away from that with any any points whatsoever. Uh, we mentioned it in the first half how important it was to take points okay. whenever you could when you were within that red zone. And um, obviously, it was great work by Abbeville, don't get me wrong, but they, they'd be kicking themselves if they haven't come away with the points there. See the rain coming down pretty hard now, has been forecast. And you would think that uh, with the Abbeville pack being in such fine form, they won't, uh, they won't complain about the rain. High kick, Evans does well to get under it. Finds his half back partner, Evan Lloyd. Down to Maynard. Keep coming, Green. Stay. Walji. Try scorer. Maynard, or was he taken out there? Yes, he was, says the referee. Needless, uh, needless penalty there. Again, we've discussed penalty discipline. Penalty is 15 metres in from where the ball lands. Took the player out unnecessarily there. And a double penalty as well, of course. That is. Yeah, senseless stuff there. I think uh, you know, these, these are important or critical times in the game where they, they're off, they've got a player off. They want to make sure that their discipline is, uh, is maintained. And um, for me, the winger lets you the away slide down. Yeah, he's got another John, you come away. What is it there with players? 
uh, like uh, mentally wise. Um, they, they've had all the talk before. It would have been said in the dressing rooms, no penalties, no penalties, discipline, discipline. And then they go and do that. It's just a, a brain fade, isn't it? <laughs> it's a, a rush of bloods, I think, must be, isn't it? And I think, uh, and you, you can't fault them. It's that passion. It's that the 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 need to succeed. But uh, you know, there needs to be a level of, of temperament. And I think that that, that kind of goes uh, goes astray sometimes from the odd uh, player. Well, this is within Jack Maynard's range. We saw Evan Lloyd put over a real boomer shortly before half-time. So Maynard just squeezes that one round with the uh, breeze. And it's all square yet again. It's just so effortless. And, um, they, you know, Abu Vail, you know, if they don't, uh, they don't pull their socks up, they're going to they're gonna up with the discipline. They are going to lose this game. And it'll be you know, the three points that they've conceded. Just under half an hour to go. First against second. And just over four minutes on the yellow card for Morgan Richards. <laughs> Alan Lloyd drills it down into the 22. Two set. Jonathan Evans. Lloyd has overcooked that rather. Acknowledges it as well. See what he was trying to do there. He looked up, you could see it. It's a great run by the replacement. Running through two, three tackles there, setting up that Good, platform. And then you can see that you can see that if he just did it across the floor rather than looking to, to put it in the air, pretty sure that may have stayed in play for the wing at the chase. And replacement there is Owen Conker uh, from Christ College Brecon. And Ebervale have recently made a partnership deal with Christ College Brecon to supply or keep an eye on players and perhaps supply one or two. So the two are registered with uh, Christ College Brecon and Brecon Rugby Club, Owen Conker. And Ebo, of course, over the years have had uh, great links with Brecon. Players like uh, Jez Parry and uh, Shay Billen from the Gwynavid Club. Bob Stevens going back. Always a big link between Ebo and uh, the clubs in that area. Nine Yeah, no, you're on Hughes kicks that right hand side. Both sides just trying to play and force the error at the moment. And that's pretty useful. Scampering back goes Rodri Jones. Just got a bit of luck and he'll get a goal line dropout. Goal line, boys. Yeah, again, great work by, I think it was uh, Evan Lloyd again. You can see there's, uh, there was no one back there, no one at home. Yeah, Evan Lloyd again, saw there was no one back there. I think he would have probably would have preferred it to have stayed in, in play, but um, nevertheless, up, it's uh, pressure back on Sandovery to, to drop this ball out and he'll, he'll get, that, get that ball back. So, Ewan Hughes, the fly half. He's like a brother to the Welsh co commentator tonight, isn't he? He's <laughs> just like a brother. Don't need it. Thank you. The better looking brother, but looks a bit, isn't it? Player of the year for Slandavri in 2020. Played for Slantley as well. Still only 25. Uh, Ebervale summer plumage. It's coming up on S4C. Swansea against Aberavon, then a big one on the 2nd of November. Uh, Pontypool against Ebervale at Pontypool Park. That should be some Gwent derby. Three of the Gwent sides are in the top four at the moment. Yeah, it's brilliant to see, isn't it, to be fair? Um, the uh, resurgence of, of Gwent rugby, as they say, and um, I think Pontypool coming up this year has, uh, has given everyone a little, little extra boost in the Gwent, uh, Gwent region. It's great to see them in the first game of the season uh, against Newport perform so uh, admirably as well, um, because it was their first time up. Morgan Davis. 
A loose head from Ebu, and they'd be quite happy to camp themselves and plant the flag in this part of the field with Ebu. Penalty coming. There's Carrick McDonough. Tries to get involved. We're coming back for the penalty. And what are we going to get a yellow? Number one, boys. Number one. Jamie Hughes, he's calling for. Well, it's a prop yeah, off for Sandovery, so we'll have to bring a replacement on there. Now, what will that do to the uh, Sandovery yeah. scrum, is the question. Mark, yeah, like true. I think that they're already up against it, aren't yeah. they? So to lose a head in the scrum will, will certainly uh, be an advantage to Abu Abuel. Probably fair to say that the the coaching team will be relatively happy that they've only conceded I think some three points is it um, in this uh, period where they've been without or been down to 14 men so um, Sandovery probably a little bit more frustrated that they haven't taken advantage of that but um, Well, you wouldn't have expected that. Morgan Richards is back on, so Ebo are up to uh, full strength. Who's off, boys? We need a prop on this. Scrum for Sandovery, down to 14, and he might, Ebo might well fancy this. Yeah, back up to 15. Three set, boys. Gents, gents, all of you, boys, let's keep yourselves until that ball comes in. There's no shove, okay? Okay. Coach! Bind! So 17 all. Set! And every down to 14. Ebu have already been down to 14 and back up to 15. Use the ball. Both have slipped down there, boys. Up we get. Yeah, that, uh, that pressure we've seen so far in the game in the, in the scrum is going to start to come through even more so over the next 10 minutes. Let's go, boys. Reset. On, boys. comes Luke Garrett for Ebervale. Yeah. So in the 20s international. Replacing Morgan Davis. Still the Thunder we put in. There's Byron Haywood there, former Ebba Vale. Uh, fly half of the 90s, two caps to Wales. Listen to me. Former Wales assistant coach as well. There he is, Byron Haywood. A real legend around these parts. And uh, a great rugby man as well. True gentleman as well, isn't he, to be fair to him? Great lad. Two, we've got two, uh, two Ebbervale 10 legends in the, in the building type. Jason Strange and... Uh, of course, yeah, Jason Byron Strange, yeah. Let's go, pack. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, Come on, Come on, Crouch! Bye! So just coming up to the hour mark. 
Set. And, uh, you get the feeling this is the uh, compelling stage of the game. Now it's sending all. Another penalty coming. As the tide turned, that's uh, Adam Court that you just saw. And Owen Conker as well. 20. Is it Mark? Okay. Yeah, this is the uh, this is part of the uh, part of the game plan whereby the, the forwards start Group to 10, really draw on their strength and start to dominate the uh, Thunderbury pack and then uh, hopefully we can start to benefit from some penalties and you've got a kicker like Evan Lloyd in front of the post here yeah, it's just going to be a formality Owen Lloyd puts Ebel back into the lead 20 points to 17 and that's got a catch in at pitch side Aaron, the lead has been flip-flopping back and forth, but um, you've got that lead back now because of the extra man. Yeah, um, you could sway anyway at the moment, Captain. Um, we're just trying to make sure that we play in the right areas uh, and limit the errors in, in this weather, really. 20 minutes left. What are the messages you're getting down to your players? Uh, just limit the amount of errors that we are making and just make sure that we're playing in the right areas. I think... Um, as long as we do that, I say that, and we drop the ball, um, yeah, we should be hopefully be all right. And I mentioned the extra player. You've got a few minutes left. How would you try and make the most of it? Advantage over. Uh, we make the most of it by playing the way we normally play, going to the final 80 minutes, um, and hopefully getting a result on the back of that. Then. And we always knew this game was going to be like this one, didn't we? It always is between these two sides. Yeah, to, to be fair, Land every you know, we, we're going to be coming against, and that's a very disciplined, organised team, um, which they've shown tonight. We'll let you get back to it. Thanks very much. That's Aaron Cowley, member of the Ebervale coaching staff. And he said it, didn't he? Errors and areas. Yeah, definitely. I think that's, you know, unfortunately for them, that's probably gone against them. They, they, they are still within... Uh, well, they're obviously in the lead defense. up now, aren't they? So it's... Um, it hasn't worked out too badly for them, but you can just go to show if they, they can just change that element of their game, um, you know, make it far more positive rather than the Five. mistakes that they've had, then they should be in a, in a good position to take this match. Five, Green. Five and eight, Green, boys. Into the final quarter. Five and eight, Green. It's a three point game. Chris Long and Nathan Hart are on. Both uh, former Teletti players. Okay, stay off the line, gents, okay? Stay. Stay. Walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in, let's go! Don't change your mind. Let's go, 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 it's the captain in steerage class, Reese Francis. Now let's Evans have a, a view of it. Evans finds a little bit of space up that blind side. John Evans doing a bit of refereeing, as all good scrum halves do. And a useful kick as well. Yeah, very useful kick. Again, his experience there showing calm and uh, composed under that pressure there, not, not rushing the kick, speaking to the ref, as you said, which shows his experience, and then puts in a pretty decent kick to, to relieve that pressure. And refereeing at the same time. Yeah, I think he, he's in a referee's course, one or two as well. I think he was looking to do that post-rugby, but then uh, came back into rugby, so he, uh, he knows the rules all right. Knock on his line out. Knock on his Going a bit awry as well as their scrum. Advantage over. Evan Lloyd kicks looking for Carrick McDonough. Can he get a bounce, McDonough? He did, but was he taken out with a little kick through? It'll be interesting as Dan Devery playing some very risky stuff behind their own line there. Yeah, take back by scrum. And Ebel will get the five metre scrum. Well, that's exactly the type of kick he was trying to do, I think, around 10 minutes earlier, wasn't it? You could see across the 
across the park. He can see there's an opportunity there. He's done well. Carrick to keep it in play there. And then it's that pressure. There's just the follow-up as well. We discussed how eager they were. Um, yeah, that was fine. I think he was there. He wasn't taken out. But a scrum in this position is almost as good as a penalty for Ebo at the moment, the way the scrum is going. Marcus, here, make sure you're left, OK? Let's go, Pat! Uh, Hugh Phillips-Taylor is on for Harry Thomas, the youngster. Hugh Phillips-Taylor, the son of uh, Mark Taylor, of course, who scored uh, the first ever try at the then Millennium Stadium in 1999, 52 caps for Wales. Well, you played against Mark Taylor? Yes, I did many times. Um, phenomenal player, and, and uh, easier this evening, actually. I have seen him. Uh, I that. There's the scrum for Ebel. Ebel rumble, Sand every crumble, and is that an Ebel try? Yes, it is. Well, an air of inevitability about it, and I think it was uh, Owen Conker, the young lad at the back, who uh, got the final touch. But it all came, Nathan, from that slide rule kick from uh, Evan Lloyd originally. Yeah, exactly that, and I think we've mentioned his vision already. Uh, throughout this game, which is which is which was great, and and the winger McDonnell did, did great to, to grab it, and then again when you've got uh, a scrum as dominant as uh, the Ebbwale scrum is this evening, it made complete sense to go for that uh, that power drive, and uh, they've uh, they've come off uh, better off, coming away with the point, which is uh, which is crucial, and hopefully Evan Lloyd can get this conversion to take them even further into the lead. Just uh, no. slices that one wide. Well, it's given to uh, John Evans by the Tannoy, but uh, uh, our producer thinks it's Conker. It certainly Conker came up with the ball, wasn't it? Yeah, it was definitely. I think John went for it, but he didn't quite get it. I think Conker, yeah. He's, he's impressed since he's uh, come onto the field. He's carried well, composed then on that on that uh, that scrum. Yeah, from uh, as I've said earlier, from Christ College Brecon. And good to see that sort of relationship, Nathan, existing between well, what was traditionally one of the great schools, the great Welsh rugby schools, uh, Christ College Brecon. Hopefully, it can come again. But uh, you know, with, with imports being expensive. It's another way of just trying to find talent. 100, percent and I think that needs to be that needs to form the very basis of the business plan for the, from the WIU, doesn't it? Investing in, in local talent and and getting these partnerships created. Because um, I remember Christ College Brecon when I was growing up, and, and they were you know a force to be reckoned with at every team you played against. And there were players that came from that, like James Strong, that's gone on and played well for, for Newport over the years. And, and you've mentioned Shea Biller and so on. So it's, it's, it's a, there's a lot of obviously uh, great players in that college, and I think that, that partnership should look to, uh, look to you know, support the uh, local game. And going back early in the 70s with players like Rob Ackerman, the uh, Wales and Lions centre, Mark Batten, Wales B International, 109 tries for Newport on the wing, David Pitt. Uh, quite a few players have come through Christ College Brecon. And good to see Abba Vale renewing that link. So it's an eight-point game now. And we're back all, all 15 aside. He's not quite having the accuracy. Twelve minutes to go. Uh, when do Ebo start counting the clock? I think they probably already have. Um, I think, but I mean, it's it's quite a difficult one. They want to still try and play, uh, but it's playing in the right areas, isn't it? As uh, Aaron Cowley just said, and uh, field position has got to be the the, uh, the most important thing first and foremost. That's a great kick to clear as well. Yeah, from the centre of the field, it's an excellent effort up to the ten metre line. Morgan Richards, ex Dragons Academy, Change came from Coldy Cod RFC. Gitto Jones is on. Stay ten, boys, okay? At uh, Tighthead. How about us with RFC product? 
So Shoe Phillips Taylor. Also played for Carmarthen Quinns and Aberavon. Finds his man at the back. Goes that forward to Adam Warren. No. And uh, another error. Yeah, forcing the pass there. They're a little bit over eager, aren't they? With was Alice with uh, with their play, trying to get back into this game. Adam Warren's going to add an extra dimension to their game now, when he's got that experience and uh, he runs some great angles, as you see here. Uh, that's his game effectively, and then he sets up a great platform. However, yeah, I think when, you, when you're chasing the game, they know there's only 11 minutes left on the clock, so the. Uh, They've got the ability to do it, play this expansive offloading game, but it's the time and the place, isn't it? But he has one cap for Wales, of course, way back in, uh, when was that, uh, around about 2012? It was against the Barbarians. He made uh, over 130 appearances for the Dragons as well. Great experience, Adam Warren. And I think John Evans would be happy to just keep that ball as long as he can at the back of the scrum. Stop, stop. Harry Dole. High tackle. Referee spotted as well. You're in front of the ball there, you can't pick it up, okay? We're back for the high tackle at four. I'm not wasting any time just going down the line yeah frustrating there I mean they, they, they clear the line um, looking for touch didn't quite make it but then they, in fairness they had the follow up line which is great it was a, they all came out very organised however again lack of discipline letting uh, Ebervale out of uh, you know out of trouble there so I Landavri playing in Abbeville colours, though, so you're forgiven. Yeah, that's, I'm struggling with that this evening, I'll be honest. What's that? What's that? Line out against the head. Or against the throw. Evans taking his time. Aaron Warren. Into Harry Dole. Calls it forward. Less than ten minutes to go now. Lee Reese. And uh, better fingers in the middle. Almost now, uh, Nathan, it's a case of Ebo almost don't want the ball really no just, just line up line up the tackles and yeah exactly that and, and stay organized isn't it disciplined organized in defense um they, they obviously still want to try and play for territory so we've got um kira meeks on now with, uh, i think he's got a full back and he's got a great boot on him as well um so it'll be good for him to, to add that level of support to uh oh he's actually on the 10 i think so um and Yian Morris is on as well, the young hooker. Good to see him. He was out for oh, well over a year with uh, with injury. Former part of Preed man from Unesso in played for Wales under 19s. So uh, no lack of quality there. And of course, talking of uh, Ebervale legends, we've had Byron Haywood, we've had Jason Strange, uh, um, Kieran Meek, of course, uh, son of Nigel. Yeah, another, another legend, isn't it? But I remember with um, I uh, came back out of uh, retirement and supported uh, Newbridge uh, under Matthew J. Watkins and uh, Neil Edwards, and, and Kieran was uh, kind of a junior player coming through at the time. So I um, don't think you learned a lot from him, to be honest. But. I'm not sure you learned a lot about uh, outside half playing from Nigel, might be fair. <laughs> true, very true. Yeah, Nigel Meek, one of the great characters of Gwent rugby. Evans, dummies. And then comes stay. to the blind side. And that's what it's all about for Ebu now, territory. Out green, out. 
Evans. Oh, 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 Concede the throw, but it's all about uh, just gaining that territory now for Evervale. Yeah, I think they just want they just wanted that off the park, didn't they? A bit of a breather for the great work that the forwards have done, just to give them a chance, chance to reset and to really challenge at this line out and try and um, get this ball back. Lee Reese. Uh, tough to make a break now with that uh, slippery surface making everybody one pace really and this will suit Ebervale all day Reese again and Bashanda need Converted try and something else. Reese just dispossessed. And Ebel won't mind that a bit. Yeah, good discipline in defence there, very organised again, just forcing forcing Landevry to, to make the errors. And as you can see, he spotted the gap there, went to do a last minute step, but just uh, went without the ball, unfortunately. And, and that's probably the. Uh, Frustration kicking in there, knowing that they, they haven't had much uh, much change, particularly around the fringes there. Phil, they've um, they've stood up well, and, and each, each of those forwards have, have kind of taken their role as pillars and, and shut the uh, Sandovery attack down. You should remember as well that uh, two seasons ago, Ebervale finished uh, second from bottom. It was second from bottom when Jason Strange took over. A remarkable renaissance, really, and. Uh, under Jason Strange, yeah, definitely. And then they were, I think they were top five last season, and, and obviously they're, they're a step further now, particularly with the start they've had. It'll be if they win this game. Is it four out of five games? There he is. I mean, I, I played alongside uh, Jason and, and uh, talk about calmness personified. Um, <laughs> there was no moment that would uh, phase him, uh, particularly when it came to kicking. And I think that having that level of um, control uh, management is certainly. You know, stood uh, stands um, Ebervale in good stead. There's another one as well at the back of the scrum there. The scrum worker Jonathan Evans with the great experience. That's a great kick. That is as penned. Sand every back awkward bounce as well. And Dole did well and still going. Now was he impeded there? Might be academic anyway because we will come back for the scrum for Sand Every. Option 22 or scrum. Scrum. But no, yeah, they've shown that level of progression, haven't they, season on season since uh, since the return. And uh, your player of the match, I know you've gone for Chris Francis. Tell us why. Yeah, I think it's just his, uh, his you know. In terms of uh, how the forwards in general have played, I think he's been instrumental in in, uh, in in leading the charge, so to speak. Obviously, his lineouts have been quite accurate as well. So, um, yeah, very well deserved. Yeah, the captain. Find. No tries for him tonight, but he's already got three this season. He's uh, top try scorer. What a fan Devery got in these last uh, two and a half minutes or so. Still could uh, squeeze a losing bonus point out of it. At that, Ebervale is uh, tackling his tigerish. Tackled themselves badly tonight, that uh, 
Ebervale defensive line. And that's played as big a part as any in what will be a hard-earned victory if they can hang on. Warren's got something to say, though. Adam Warren. Ball goes forward, though. And Ebervale will take the scrum. Well, here's the nod of the head, just uh, telling you that it's not quite Slandevery's night tonight. Up against Jonathan Evans, two old stages, two great old pros against each other. And uh, John Evans just coming out on top that time. And David Land comes on for Slandevery in his fifth season with the Drovers. So a couple of exits should do it now for Ebervale. And the fact that they've scored Set. two to one in tries and uh, have had uh, better to the forward exchanges suggests they uh, probably deserve it as well, the Steelmen. And a good exit. Bing on the line, boys, okay? On the line. Just under two, gents. Okay. It's the halfway line, less than a minute to go, so it's all about whether Sandevery can somehow bag a bonus point. Burgle a bonus point might be a better way of saying it, the way the game's gone in the second half. But uh, the line out goes awry. And Ebo now just have to steady this scrum, win it, and. Uh, Get it off, quite frankly. And it'll be a first Crouch. loss in uh, seven games for Slandevery. Last loss way back in May Set. at Newport. Clock is red. There was a bit of discrepancy between the screen clock and the uh, referee's stay, watch stay, stay. in the first half, so it might not be the last play. As he forces Jack Davis to get go right back into his own 22. And away, well, Slant everybody have got to do something from here. <laughs> Pass finds Warren, Adam Warren. And Ebo will plant the flag, you would think. The enthusiasm with that uh, Ebbeville tackling the line speed is terrific. A little bit too terrific on that occasion. Stop. I give you the mark. Yeah. So last throw of the dice for the drovers, is it? That's the Ebu 10 metre line. Something out wide, no, it's uh, lost in contact. Meek kicks downtown for Ebo, and well downtown as well. And Sandovery have to go scrambling back, and there's that aggressive Ebo defence again, the kick chase. Jack Davis did well there, and something possibly on that right-hand side for Sandovery. But Ebo scrambling back again. 
emblematic of their evening, their enthusiasm, and they've uh, prevailed as well, the Steel Men. They've beaten the league champions, the current Premiership champions, Slandevery. They scored two tries to one Ebel and had better of the forward exchanges and managed the conditions as well. And they've beaten Slandevery by 25 points to 17. Thanks for listening to us on the English language on S4C Click. Amarun and Tim Lobbon are dipping on that glim in the board in a club and him and Glen Eboy. Achos, Mar, with the Goliath and the medal, so Glen Eboy, see Bethach, Arbury, Gatavel, and Dee Sodley, Tan and the Vary. Again, Obunche, Gada Glen Eboy, Peder, with the Goliath, Ashan, Obimpa, Ian Foyt Bonos, a Juan Negol. Na San and the Breed and a Pambono are a Breed. Um, Grasau, Mana Ufnos, Ogeme, Ben Ufnos, Ogeme, Idod, Venhin, Oran, Euchgangerer, Indigo, Merthir, and Erbin Pontapool, Pontapri, Penabont, Magadachi Aberavan, and Erbin Casnewid, Kerdiv, Castechnev, Akana Rugby, Gogleb, Kemri, and Erbin Quins, Kair, Verden, on Bethamanigal, the Matebir, Vidigolietna, Ilinebui, or Steph, a Serena Game, Gadabe. Yeah, uh, Sin and against you're going to have Iris. Brilliant performance from you boys today and you personally. Congratulations on Man of the Match. How big of a result is that for you boys? Yeah, it's, it's a massive result, especially early in the season. Like We know Land every real top side, reigning champs. So to take a win here at home, make Eberville a hard place to come again, massive for us. 100% and I bet it gives you boys a lot of confidence so you can you know, push to really win the, win the league this year. Yeah, massive confidence. We spoke at the start of the year that the end game is our trophies but we're under no illusion, it's a tough league. And week in, week out, we're going to have to play our best. So we'll enjoy this one tonight and then back to work on Tuesday. Absolutely. And obviously, you boys played the conditions perfectly. Set piece was really important for you boys tonight. Yeah, I think set piece got on top at the end. I think it's a team who probably made the less, least mistakes in wherever. I guess we're going to win it. And our set piece, once again, come up trumps. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Enjoy your night. Cheers, well done. Cheers mate. Well done on the Canlyniad and the our Mether captain, Viva Danu Nauer and Camin Hederis, who game Nessanu Akan Gobithio, got the Gorfin at Timor, Erbudin the Canar, Ar the Arvrig, a table. Um, Bithamania Jacara Isle, Hanner Nathan, Achos, um, Udna Gopola Guardia Melin, or Discobleth and Problem on Udna Ruin and Timlo, Pamna Conquer Galar Isle, Guy Snail and Airboy, one of them for Noli Lan and Bavri. Nahina, the momentum, the Newid, the Hadigan Dove, um, a panachinistic or Pusigroith or Discobleth of Honey V, or Heroid the Fife of In Huarewir, Laur Gada. And Roy Cavle of Go CE are overlapping. One day, to my quite dark and ever, I think I did a couple of an hour. Did you go out to our old Troy in a poor of Nazi Gada, blind whip, Glen Airboy, Palm of Endori Scumia? On Hivit level of career deb and the line Hivit, Fatima, Maratona, Gate, Gaman, or the Heroid that are a more day. to a Wara Mary Doyla, Glen Airboy, and for the Heroid the Pack. Nerthal of the Gadano, on a distal Havid and Aguither Goyade, Vasi. Now, to one Hostel Havian Haviano. Yep, with the Goliath Haviano, the new Mother Nathan, with the Minigar Hagor or Matter, get a step. Yeah, Kevin or Shannon the Vries, you're going to be Jack Mayna. Jack, uh, Nosson, Carl Eddie Huare rugby, even in Shooting Team Law at the game, he. Yeah, it's all right. I've watched them in a boarding game, Carl Eddie, and I've done Lanma, Canal Rusnos, so I'm not the Glow with it. Was that many Lan Ali game as and bach uh, to be fair at um Ibuville just try Lan Hadu and aid um Saika Mariada in any. Yeah, Pamela I know they were I'm saying my my scrum creep with the board good I know uh he's real travel to bail and I'm looking now uh and run or huare or he uh Ilar Hino. Yeah, to me the mind my ride in Eva said I with it just born happy see what I hear but bail. Um I've asked to my hair nod or the ride need now and to my if I didn't dig your boys to my premium travel to bail me need and bar so just Caleb Barland or the um, many more new Beth married near to have them in man. Great, I do have a reality. I'm probably looking for him with a camera. Great, yeah. 
Yes, and the Brinch Media going to your boy Smurthim to Hoch when Un Edric Mlan is actually or possibly the club air my lottery hoy ridden over that fan. Or when we should board in Daphne E. Team No. But the Munivan Nolan Hannah Kunta, Achos, um, or the Nola Mlan from the Thy Deem Kikyo Keshe, and Fan and Bavri, the Hre of Gore or Anna Keshe, Warren Gavo the Kais Kuntana. Yeah, in sicker to me with Dechay and Ubant and Vayan. They're going to have to get a salam of the report, true, and just a well, we're seeing in Dadan Sodi and Hanan said, just a follow them with the Cymru, some media that are all there to want a car and Marvel, I can wait for the more clean air goal and horse boy sick. I just went in just. Sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry, um, probably got us over the line. Um, important win for us. Really um, pleased with the effort and the commitment. But um, what, what was frustrating tonight? I think both teams were led down with the weather, really, um, and it was it was difficult to get any rugby going. It came down to just minimising errors and finding field position. Um, and you know, I feel for Land every because they're a good side and they want to play, um, and we did as well. So I don't think we saw the best of uh, both teams, but. Ultimately, for us, it was about finding a way to win, and um, we've done that. I know it's the early days, and I know you won't get ahead of yourself, but we were talking or hearing from your captain there just saying, confidence-wise, this will give you a huge boost now going forward with the rest of the season and finishing where you want to, right at the top or in that top four. Yeah, we, we're progressing nicely, and um, we've got the benefit of um, a strong squad. So we've got good depth in the squad. Um, the players are very committed. You know, I can't speak highly enough for their commitment, and um, they care for the club. And sometimes that's more important than anything. Um, so we're going in the right direction, but we understand. You know, we've, we've got a long way to go to um, to be competing um, at, at the top at the moment. Even though we are top of the table, um, there's loads of improvement in us. Well, you can enjoy this evening. Anyway, Jason, thank you very much. We'll let you uh, get on. And uh, <laughs> yeah, team on. I got to the team, Right, okay. Steph, did you all hear me? No, good any. Steph, when you just include a team, so I'm grived there a pack. When I have it on in Guay, I'm a Hanner Kinta, but I'm in all. I'm Lam Warren and Calakais Kinta, and Ilan and Vivri on Glen Airboy and Guthio and a stud at Hanner Kinta. I can call you in a no mounir game, and do I didn't have the boys to go there, you know? Yeah, and I think that I've been creating the pack of the Guahanias of Pack, Glen Airboy and other hog and a scar messy to me, all of the scrum and Amlog and you know, go ahead and eat in the game. I hid an old bun away, denied Salcom Gamariado, I have a threat on whom just dig on to get done away and make a game. I do wear the game. Nid gweld i'n cais, uh, well, gan asgellwr, beth am ni weld cais gan asgellwr arall hefyd y bynnis di o hyn gan Lynebwy. Yeah, and you can get in my head, just the fall of my uh, Evan Lloyd and Gatley coming to the bill at the, the scene. And on hefyd a cymorth sydd ar gael gyda... Um, Glyn Eboy, and you well just a follow the Hivid Gudda, Gudda Rescassor, um, Kavalumder, Puer, and with that, I'm waiting for the Bidisi, my double per Hardy Crisis in us, Kikes for now. And yeah, to my man, when you got your water, Hivid, you saw him down her pack, and Varner thought it good, and on my Gudda Rassi to your Livid. Hind is good weld, the idea, Ma, and Nihanoli, the weather tomorrow. I know Singosso, the Savon, or Dana Mode, I know the Anvil of Jason Strange and Guade, and Managasonde, but another Mder or Anna Timema. Yeah, we could need to go to Digon and I'm looking at the Vri, need to go to Tabach Moy or Glen Abo here, no, and now we need to go to Morbechad, Manu Nauri, Pedro, Maso Pimp. And it's so on a more more day, and it's only gay, so I'm going to work a lot, but he, come on, good bod. Yeah, great, and on good bod, come on, Bo Glen Abo, Gachi Bod and a faith, y'all, and there are more than that. Manu Manidori here, and Spot Guich, and Bin, come on, do with the Tamar. Agoran, Llan Ymfyfri, Swydd, Hyfforddwr yw Pigo i Chwarewyr y Lan yn dyfau mae angen cymeriad nawr yn edrych Lan y Twtnos Nesa. O, oh, sicr. Ti mae beth, maen nhw'n cwrdd i Lan ar arferiad y byddigol, y Lan i yma, wrth gwrs y gem yma. Um, felly, mae'n digon o hyder dal i gael o fewn y garfan. Ie, yeah, yeah. pigo nhw'n nôl Lan, wrth gwrs ar ôl y uh, colled yma, ond mae'n digon o, o, o ddawn gyda nhw yn y, yn y garfan uh, i mynd ymlaen. 
Diolch yn bawr iawn. Bois, am eich cwmni chi heno, joiwch y penwthnos yn eistedd y sofa yna. Yn gwylio holl gemau cwpon y byd, gwneud chi'n siwbwch chi yn mwynhau cwpon y byd hefyd wrth gwrs Cymru y gen fawr yna yn erbyn Arianin. Ond ni dal y mwynhau fy nhyn yng Nglyneb bwy er y tywydd. Achos chwarae teg o ddyn dipyn o gem. Nos da.